For all of you who love autumn, this video gets you in the right mood. In this video you see how to mix colors, paint easy autumn motifs and where to add the little brush strokes that level up your watercolor art. Hello, hello, my name is Adelheid and I'm a trained art teacher and if you want, I'm your personal art teacher. For this video you need watercolors, here you can see all the colors that I'm using, some good quality paper, two brushes, here you can see the color mix that I'm using for the white pumpkin. With the tip of my brush I paint the basic shape of the pumpkin and then I fill in the area within the color lines. Here we are painting kind of white on white so now it is a little bit difficult to see the pumpkin shape but as we go on the shape will develop out of the white sheet of paper and it's totally up to you if you want your white more kind of greenish or beige toned as you like. Play with the colors, play with the color mix. Here are no, no rules. Now I'm starting to paint the lines a little bit thicker and the next step is to mix the green for the stem. Here I'm very carefully when I apply the green that I don't touch the white color because I don't want the green and the white to blend. And then it's time to let the color dry. Here I apply the same color mix as before, but the only difference is that I added a little more of Naples white and titanium white. And here I'm layering the colors and with this technique I emphasize some parts more and the color underneath will still shine through and so I get a really nice, nice effect. And this only works because the color underneath is totally dry. Here I added a little more, more of olive brown to the color mix and I use the thin brush and just with the tip of my brush I paint these little details at the bottom of the pumpkin. And I also add the little details to the top of the pumpkin. As we go on the color mix will get darker and darker and with these little brush strokes we air quote work out the shape of the pumpkin and create this kind of 3D look. Here I create more shadow because we are here at the bottom of the pumpkin and remember with the light there is less light or low light and here we have more shadow and I draw these very thin lines and there are always little tiny gaps if I would draw here a uh, correction paint here thick lines it would look more kind of flat and here are we work out the shape of the pumpkin the, the round shape and these little brush strokes follow the form of the pumpkin pumpkin and create the illusion of the kind of convex form of the pumpkin. Okay, now we continue with the stem. Here I mix the darker green, green color and I work here very slowly and carefully and I paint little lines and I emphasize the part where the stem meets the pumpkin and I paint little dots of color here and they create a kind of shadow effect and a right hand side of the stem I paint again our darker color mix and, and voila we paint the shadow. In this video I try to show more and talk less. Thank you. 
So let's continue with the sunflower. For the flower bed I mix Van Dyke brown and Carmine red. I remove some of the color with a dry brush, then I add more of the Van Dyke brown and I apply the color on the bottom and create a shadow effect. Then I add a circle with more common red. For the flower petals I use permanent yellow and I use a very light wash to create the flower petals. I draw petals all around the flower bud and then I let them dry. Remember you can always turn your paper so it is easier for you to paint the petals. If you love painting water flowers then check out the link in the description. There you find the link to one of my watercolor sunflower tutorials. When the first layer of flower petals is dry, I add more color to the color mix and add a second layer of color petals over the first one. I place the flower petals that way that the petals underneath and the one I'm drawing that they overleap. I fill in some gaps between the flower petals. I paint little dots with olive green to create the sunflower seeds. With Van Dyke Brown. I paint small dots around the brown circle. And then I paint little brush strokes to the inner part of the brown circle. To stop the brown from blending into the yellow, I take a dry brush and I block the color and then I remove the color from the yellow. Here I take orange and vermilion and I paint thin lines and I paint around the single flower petals and with this shadow line the flower petals come to life. Then the next step is that I add more water to the color mix and I draw thin lines within each petal to enhance the form of the petal. They are not straight, they are little curved lines following the form of the, the flower, like a little bit organic and then I add more of the vermilion and the color mix gets a little bit darker and I added more lines. For the autumn leaf I mix Van Dyke brown, orange and light red. I paint the outlines of the shape of the leaf. Here I try to, with little zigzag strokes, I paint the edges of the leaf. 
as a reference I used the form of a chestnut and a maple leaf and the form here that I create is kind of a fusion of both of them. They are not botanically correct. Then I fill in the shape with the brown, orange and vermilion mix. I do not cover the whole area. I leave some white spaces because I need them to create the effect of light afterwards. Here again we work in layers and after the first wash has dried we continue with the second one. And some of these areas I fill in with a very light orange wash. So here is the next step. I add a second layer of the red and orange wash. I paint little dots of red and brown here to enhance the edges of the leaf. Then I draw little curved brush strokes downward and I leave some little space in between so that the layer underneath can shine through. Here again I paint little dots on the edges of the leaf to emphasize the shape and to create nice details to look at. Then I cover the upper part of the leaf with the same color mix. Here I fill in the shape with the orange color mix. And then I take the fine brush and I fill in all the lines within the leaves. Here the color mix is Van Dyke brown and light red.
For the stem, I make light red, permanent red and one dark brown. The color mix is diluted, so I have very light line. And here I paint the stems or the branches of the berry. I use carmine red and a little bit of light red. I nearly cover the whole area within the circle. And the trick here is that I leave tiny space of white. That way we create the effect of a highlight. Then we emphasize the outline of the berry with the darker color mix. Here I used a small brush again with, with a darker red color mix and I added a little bit of Van Dyke Brown and here I add little dots of Van Dyke Brown and if the color is too light I apply a second layer. With tiny strokes I add details to the branch. For the pumpkin I use permanent yellow and orange and again I use my brush to paint the outlines of the pumpkin and then I fill in mostly of the areas within the lines and on kind of two thirds I leave some little white spaces as highlights. With olive green, I paint the spiral shape stem. I mix orange and light red and then I change the brush and here I draw a yellow red line around the single pumpkin shapes and then I fill in the form of the shape and I leave out the white spaces and I create a kind of a color gradient. The pumpkin transforms from a flat lined painting to a kind of more 3D looking pumpkin.
with the orange I correct a little bit of the form here. I'm mixing vermilion and carmine red and a little bit of light red and then I paint this little details here at the bottom of the pumpkin and I emphasize some lines more. Now I continue painting on the top of the pumpkin and with this little short red line I emphasize the top and create a little shadow effect where the pumpkin and the stem meet because we have a convex shape and then it goes in a concave shape and there is shadow. And here we add the next layer of paint and it is orange and light red and the brush strokes follow the form of the pumpkin and with these little brush strokes we follow the round organic form of the pumpkin and this line help us to achieve the form we want. Where the stem and the pumpkin meet, we add a color mix of permanent red and Van Dyke brown. And here I just paint little brush strokes, little details on the top and on the bottom. For the stem I use a light green and indigo and I apply it in very fine lines that are following the shape of the stem. The last step is to apply some color at the bottom of the stem with green, brown and indigo. Okay, here is our final result. I think I have to add some text and here I draw a pencil line and then I took one of my hand lettering brushes or pens and I write the word autumn and these are Alright, this is the final step. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to watch my other videos.